to the snowplow just went barreling down the street, off the street, and into the ditch. Yeah, we're having another winter storm here. Really, really heavy snow. Looking out my window, hoping all those electric lines and all those trees that are covered and weighted in snow hold on to their branches because we already had one power outage today. And while we were without electricity for three hours, which took my house temperature down to 55 degrees, which is pretty cold, And also means you can't use the bathroom because we have a well and wells need the electricity to run the pump. So it just made me think and I kind of think about things like this anyway. How grateful I am that I wasn't living here 100, 200 years ago because it is all woods. I do live at the Appalachian Trail. And when I'm hiking back in there, I wonder about the people, and most especially the Native Americans who lived off the land back there. And what did they do when the weather was cold and windy with wind gusts going up as high as 45, 50 miles per hour? It's pretty windy and I hear the snow thud on my roof every time that happens. But I also thought about how prepared am I to handle an emergency like that because I got to tell you with the snow that deep and to get down to my car first I have to go out on my deck because my main entrance is upstairs then I've got to go down the steps then I've got to go across the driveway then I got to find my car because take my word for it it's buried in snow right now At least I know where to look. It's the only car in my driveway. So it's interesting because I don't usually do this, but when you tune in to the messages coming from the universe, things like this happen. All of my devices, so my smartphone, my Kindle, my computer, I had all of them fully charged at 100%, which was a good thing because I didn't know I wasn't going to have electricity. And if I needed to be able to contact someone, I'd have been in real trouble. As it was, I had just heard from my electric company the day before. They told me what number to text to, what words to text. If I had a power outage, I did that. So I got on their radar. So they came out. Now they did detect the outage, but it took them three hours to find it. So thank goodness the universe had prepared me with all these different elements. I also gathered all my warmest clothes and went into my bedroom, put them all on very many layers, and then I got into my bed, which is very high-tech, far infrared, some other technologies, and I just lay there real quietly listening to some lectures. I love documentaries and lectures, and I monitored the usage of the electricity on the device so I'd be sure that I was safe. So, are you prepared to handle an emergency? Had the cold weather continued, since it was already 55 degrees in my house during the daytime, not sure what I would have done because, hey, when your snowplow skids off the road into the ditch, do you think there's a chance, even if you could get your car out of the driveway? that you can make it up the road? No, I saw cars come down and turn around. I live at the bottom of two hills on each side. No, nobody's coming up or down those hills now. So, how are you set? And I think the biggest thing is what goes on in your mind if you have some kind of weather emergency. Do you know what to do? 
I had taken food out, put it into freezer bags so that I could eat it on and off and know it was safe. I surprised myself because frankly, I didn't think we were gonna lose our electricity. I hadn't prepared beforehand. However, I am in tune with the universe, with the messages, and so it told me to do all these things so I was ready and I was able to handle the situation. Who you are and what you can handle often is different from who you think you are. And when a crisis happens, for the most part, I think most people can meet the crisis to do the tasks that are necessary that they didn't know they could do. So have you ever been in a situation where you needed to handle something that you just weren't expecting? Oh, there was one more fun thing I just wanted to share with you. Oh, it was 50, it was 51 years ago, I was a teenager, and I was on a trip with a bunch of teenage girls, yeah, and chaperones, and we were in the underground. I don't know if it still exists, it was a Chicago underground, and there were all these stores and shops and everything, and it was literally underground, and the electricity went out, and it was pitch black, and this was the day before smartphones, before cell phones. So nobody had any means of any light. Now, fortunately, there was a small group of girls within my group that would be singing this, what I always found to be a very, very annoying song, but they do it all the time. And they got together and started singing the song. So what do you think happened? Everybody from our group heard them singing, started singing with them, and we all found each other in the dark. Life's pretty interesting, isn't it? Going over to your relationship intelligence.com. I'm Ellie Bierman, and you'll find a whole lot of information on how to build your relationship intelligence there because until you do, your life's never going to be as grand as it could be.